Okay, so I'm going to try, this is my first tutorial, so bear with me, please. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make these. This is what they look like when they come out of the mold. And they're just locks, and I haven't made any of the keys yet. Maybe I'll do that this time. Um, this is what they look like when they come out, because it's just toilet paper and Mod Podge mixed with a little bit of water. And then this one is painted, and I've used some metallic waxes on it, and then put a jewel in it. Um, this one's just painted with gold paint. I'm not done with it yet, but to give you an idea, they take paint really well because it's just paper and Mod Podge, so there's no issues with it, you know, not absorbing the paint. Um, and this one, actually, I went back and put a uh, gloss varnish on afterward, which I think it helps seal it, and I think it looks a little better. But I really like these because they're super lightweight, so they'll be really easy um, later to put on my journal or anything because I don't have to use E6000. I can just use regular tacky glue and it'll stay. Um, and if the backs aren't totally smooth, you can to um, you can sand them and then they'll be flat. Um, I wouldn't worry too much. This one is probably the worst one when it comes to the back. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I apologize for the light. I figured it'd be better to do this in the morning, but I wasn't anticipating it's rained for like two weeks here. So this morning, of course, it's bright and sunshiny with no clouds. So I tried to get the best area I could with no shadows. Um, so all you need for this, um, I have this uh, silicone mold that's a Prima mold that I got at Michael's. Um, they had all of their mixed media stuff uh, on sale for half off. So I went ahead and got this. Um, you could use Mod Podge molds. Um, I haven't tried candy molds yet, but I'm going to go through my Halloween candy molds and look uh, because I have a lot of candy molds because I make candies for different holidays. Um, and people, I have a friend who will like buy them when they're 50 cents and bring them to me. So I have like a plethora of things that I don't necessarily need. Um, but I imagine you could do the same thing with them. Um, they don't have quite as much detail usually, so it's probably a little bit easier. Um, but they're also plastic. So I would think it's going to slip around a little bit more. But if you've tried it, let me know because I'd like to know if they work. Um, so all you need is this. Um, a stiff bristle brush, which I'm using this little tiny one. I used a bigger one that wasn't as stiff last time and it worked just fine. Um, I would imagine a stenciling brush would be probably the best thing to use, but I don't actually have one. Um, and then I've already mixed my Mod Podge in water. Um, I, however much, I didn't really measure. Um, it's probably like, I don't know, twice as much water, maybe like one and a half times as much water as Mod Podge, and you don't need very much. Um, but you just need that. The other thing you're going to need is some toilet paper. Pretty easy, everybody has it, generally speaking. Um, this one is actually, I, I sent my husband to the grocery store and he bought the toilet paper this time and he came back with one ply toilet paper, which, you know, is kind of not the best in the world, but it works really well for this. So, um, it doesn't matter what it is, um, but to be honest with you, the thinner it is, the better. Um, and I actually saw the first time I saw this, it was on a YouTube video, and I can't remember now the username, but I will put it um, somewhere. There will be a link to that YouTube video. Um, she rolled hers up really fine. I don't, you don't need to roll it up. Um, I was too impatient to do that. So I just cut it in. Mine are pretty big slices. You could go really small, but you just need strips. Um, you can make them shorter. You can like tear off each individual uh, square of toilet paper. Again, I'm too lazy for that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so this is really easy. This is all you do. Take your Mod Podge on your brush and you're just going to pounce it. Now it will be kind of a pain the first few times you put it in here because it basically disintegrates once you put the water on it. I mean, it's toilet paper and this is really thin toilet paper. So it's just kind of going to become mush when you first put it in here, which is why the stiff bristles are good. Because oh, you're trying to force it into all of the cracks and crevices of your design. Um, I wouldn't, excuse me, I wouldn't pile, like I wouldn't put it like this and then dunk it. Um, just because you need to kind of spread it out a little. I would be afraid that the layers, if it didn't get soaked all the way through, the layers would come apart when you try to take it out. Um, so this is all you do. Um, if you have more water, 
less Mod Podge, it won't matter. It really, the first time I did this, I had a lot more water. Um, it really didn't matter. Like in the end, it might take a little bit longer to dry. Um, I think the original video, hers like dried really quick. Um, mine, I let dry overnight because I had so much water in them. Um, even after I like blasted it with my heat gun, it still wasn't, it was still a little flexible. Um, but this is all you do. You just pounce it in here and you just, if it starts to dry out some and it's not disintegrating and, and getting shoved into the, to the uh, design, you just get some more water on your brush. If you have a bigger brush, you don't have to dunk it as many times. The last time I did this, I had a much bigger brush. Um, the only thing I would not recommend is I tried to cheat my the second time I made one of the other ones. Um, and I tried to put uh, the water into the mold first. Like I put some of the Mod Podge down in the mold the first go around um, before I ever started. I like, ooh, whoops, almost. Um, I did this and then tried to like put the to toilet paper in there on top of it. All it did was like get the toilet paper wet as soon as it touched it and I had a really hard time getting it all smashed down in there. So don't do that. <laughs> Take it from me, it's not a good idea. Um, but you're going to mash all of this in here, which I will speed up for you because nobody wants to watch me do this for, you know, it does take a while. It's really easy, but it is time consuming because depending on how deep the mold is and how big it is and how detailed, um, it can take a long time. So, I mean, you know, have some time to dedicate to playing with your stuff, which I mean, usually when you sit down to craft, you kind of decided you're going to spend some time on it. So that's not a big deal. And you don't need, need to blast this with a heat gun when it comes out. It does help. Um, like when I pop these out the first time, I use my heat gun to sort of try and dry the outside a little, but I don't think you'd have to. You could just let it dry, air dry. Um, I prefer to air dry them because I'm always afraid that the inside won't be as dry as I think it is because the outside is hard. Oh, sorry, my phone is, my phone is on. Um, but yeah, you just keep smooshing it in there and it doesn't matter if you get it around the edges, you know. And like I said, mine were really long strips. You could do much shorter strips and it might be a little more manageable. Once they get saturated, like if you get it wet when it's sitting out here, it's just going to tear off anyway. So that's part of the reason I didn't bother to like cut it in smaller strips because I figured it was going to fall apart anyway into its own smaller strip. Um, but I will speed this part up so you don't have to listen to me yap at you while I smoosh the toilet paper in here. Okay, so I've gotten this finished, uh, but this is what it looks like when it's done. You can tell, I hope, I can't really see. Um, sorry, this is a new camera setup and you're like way above my head, so I can't see the screen until after everything's pulled down. Um, <clears throat> so this is really rough and if you look at it, of course now I've put this back in the Mod Podge, it's really wet because I have a tendency to over wet things. Um, it sticks up, if it goes over the edge, like there's a couple of these corners where it's a little, it's hanging over, do not worry about it and don't worry if it's not even because the next step you're going to do is you're going to take some paper towel or a, um, I have a lot of rags in my art room which are all in the laundry because they're full of paint. Um, you're just going to take some and then I stand up to do this because then I get more weight behind it. You're just going to cover it up and push down because it gets a lot of the moisture, the extra moisture out of it. It also, see how that even, it helps to even everything out. And if you've got, I mean, you're pouncing it in there, but there's going to be gaps that you can't, whoops, almost, uh, that you can't see because, you know, you're pounding toilet paper in there. It's also going to move around. Like this one in particular, I didn't have as much trouble with the locks, um, but this one did slide a lot. That could have been because I was using too much, too much liquid. Um, but, and you see, it's now like a little lower than the edge of the, uh, edge of the mold. Stop that. It hasn't gone off in half an hour. The second I stopped talking. Um, so yeah, so you're just going to do it. I do it until I can't really feel any more moisture coming out. Cause like I said, I used a lot of water, probably way more than I needed, but I like it that way because I know that the toilet paper is kind of dissolving into itself 
and I don't have to worry quite so much about a layer, you know, that's not stuck together kind of thing. All right, so you've got that all together. And at this point, it's pretty solid. Like you can tell if you pull, pull, pop that, it'll come out. Um, I haven't done the key before, so let's hope this comes out well. Uh, with the locks, there was no problem getting it out. And because these are silicone, you can bend the mold. This is the other problem with the candy mold. So that's what it looks like. I mean, is that not cool? Um, if you have a heat gun, you can sort of blast it with a little bit of the heat gun because it's really flexible right now. Um, mine is not currently plugged in near me because I'm rearranging the craft room, so things are everywhere. I'm actually doing this in the middle of our office computer room library. Um, but that's what it looks like. And this speckling is actually because there was dust in the mold. That's not, I didn't do that on purpose. I wish I had. Um, and next time I think what I'm going to do is try, um, I'd like to see if I couldn't tint the Mod Podge with some acrylic paint because then it would come out. Not that it matters. I mean, you can easily paint this. Um, but it would be kind of cool to see if I could tint it like brown or tint it with gold because then it would come out of a, already a color. So you could just sort of darken it up. Um, but I don't know if you can see this. I really hope you can. Um, I mean, the detail on it is really came out well, which I'm always surprised by, but it basically turns into paper clay kind of, um, but it's just, and then this, I will let it dry overnight. I have a rack that I use for craft stuff. Um, and I will just sit it on the rack and let it dry overnight. And then by tomorrow morning, it should be plenty firm enough to do whatever with. Um, and they're super lightweight, which I really like. Um, they're still a little flexible. Like this one you can still bend, but it's pretty thin. Um, this particular one, I didn't fill the mold as much as I could have. So like I could bend it, but yeah. So this is what they look like when they're all done. And that's the process. It's really easy. Um, and like I said, if you can find the molds for not, I mean, this one was half off, so it was $5. Um, our Michaels are having like a clearance and get, I don't know if they're getting rid of them, but the Mod Podge molds are down to like three bucks if you can find them. My Michaels is of course, doesn't have any left. Um, so I'm kind of hoping I can convince a friend to go look at her Michaels. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, leave a comment down in the description. I will try and answer it as best I can. And yeah, thank you for watching.